Hi everyone, this is Bakka Pachinjalkar. Welcome to Test Automation Tool. To learn Selenium, you should know about basic topics of Core Java. Java program can be executed in two ways. The first way is by using the command prompt method and the second way you can follow as Eclipse IDE method. Today's session, I will be covering how to set up environment variables. This is my today's agenda here. This is uh, my procedure to set up uh, environment variables. The second is uh, what is Eclipse IDE and what is the purpose of using Eclipse IDE and how to download the Eclipse IDE and installing Eclipse IDE. And the last one is setting up Java project environment. First, I will show you how to set up environment variables for the Java. Firstly, you have to install Java software successfully. After that, you have to do one more thing called environment variable setup. I will show you. You have to go to the my computer and here you have to click on system properties. Under that, you have to click on system settings. Just make sure you are in advanced tab here. Under that, you have to click on uh, environment variables button. Here so many variables are available for user and the system. Do not touch anything in the user variables. Just you have to do two things in system variables. The very first thing is you have to add one new variable called Java home. Here it is. I have already added it. Still, I will tell you how to add a new variable into system variables. You have to click on new button here and you have to enter here java underscore home this is the path you have to co copy it from the c drive if you are installed with java software that will create automatically java java folder and under that jdk will be created if you are successfully installed with java software you take this copy and paste it here first variable name what you have to enter remember right java home and here you need to press the same path ok button will be get enabled and click on ok button the second mo second thing is search for the path variable here is the path variable click on edit button put semicolon at the end again you go to the same folder where you copied uh, the path of jdk and you have to click on jre under that bin folder you have to click you have to take the entire path and after putting semicolon you have to paste it and you have to click on ok after that you have to click on ok and ok once you are done with these two settings under environment variables, check whether Java is installed or not. I will go to the my command prompt. Just I will type Java hyphen version. If you got the description of Java version what you installed that means java is installed successfully if the java is not installed you will get an error called it is not recognized as internal or external command that's it for the java now i will show you how to download eclipse ide go to the google.com here you enter 
Eclipse ID. You have to click on very first link. It will list out all the different versions of the Eclipse ID. All work for the same functions. I suggest you to go with any of these versions. I'm going with the Indigo packages. We have so many different Eclipse softwares are available for Indigo packages. I will suggest you to go with the Eclipse ID for Java developers. Here comes again for Windows, there is a 32 bit and 64 bit. For Mac OS, you will get 32 bit and 64 bit. For Linux, is different. Mine is Windows. If your operating system is 32 bit, you go with 32 bit, or else you can go with 64 bit. Mine is 32 bit, I'll go with 32 bit. If the download is not started automatically, click on download button. I have already downloaded this Eclipse ID. It will come in the form format of zip file. First you have to unzip it and you will get the folder called like this. You double click on that and under that you will get uh, Eclipse folder, double click on that. Here you have to search for Eclipse.exe file. This is the one which launches the all its inbuilt function for Java program execution. Double click on the Eclipse.exe file. Eclipse file. Here it will ask you for the workspace. If you are writing any program under Eclipse ID, it will store all the files under specified workspace. Just I'm here selecting the path for writing the program. Yeah, that is the same file I'm workspace I'm uh, creating here just click on OK after selecting the file or uh, this this checkbox indicates for after opening the Eclipse ID if you want to go with the same package or else different package if you are not uh, going with the same package just uncheck this checkbox click on OK Yeah, here we got welcome screen for the Eclipse ID for Java developers. <coughs> here you have to click on workbench icon. This is a straightforward screen for the Eclipse ID. Here you go in left side and right click on that screen, you will get one new. Under that you will get Java project. Here I am showing you how to create Java project in Eclipse ID. Here just I am creating Java project. Here I am just you have to mention the project name. I will mention as project 1. If you are unchecked with use default GRE, please do check with the use default GRE for current version. And click on finish button here. Here we got a new project which we have created. You will get three, two options under the your project. These are the jar files that require for your Java program execution. This is the source files where the user can program in different languages. Here I will tell you how to create packages. Package is a one concept in Java that that helps to the user to separate the programs. 
this is the main package name under that sub package is package one it should be and you click on finish button here i'm telling again <coughs> this time i'm creating the class name sorry class i'm creating right click on that package and you have to select class here you have to mention the class name i'm mentioning as a class one how to import the main method and please check this generate commands I'll, I'll tell you what 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 it means click on finish button here you go if you uh, check generate commands it will give the author name who is the author of this program that is that's it for uh, that tech checking generate commands this is a structure of simple class just i'll tell uh, i'll write one statement here for printing the printing the screen test automation tool this system dot out dot printed it is an one statement for printing the things in in the screen I'll tell you how to run this program. Right click on that screen. Just go as a run as Java application. See, can you see the output? Welcome to test automation tool. I think I have covered all the things. Uh, procedure to set up the environment variables what is eclipse id and why we use eclipse id how to download eclipse id and installing eclipse id i think i have not covered eclipse id what is eclipse id and why we use eclipse, eclipse id i will tell you <coughs> eclipse is an ide ide stands for integrated development tool Sorry, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It provides a platform to develop customized softwares in multiple programming languages like uh, Java, COBOL, Python, PHP, etc. etc. I think I have covered all the points for today's agenda. If you have queries, please do write emails to the b a k k a p p a c at the at gmail dot com, or else you can send a ten WhatsApp message to eight four three one two five three double zero seven. Please do share if you like this video. Please enter comment below of this video. Thanks for watching.